freaking speak up. Time to talk. Someone's going to answer some questions. After they break up my home. Someone's going to answer some questions. Thank God. Let's get to it. Okay, so the neighbor complained that the dog was peeing through the porch. That's what they had to come in my house for. So they could check and see if the dog has a license. And to let me know that the dog was peeing on the porch. That's why. That's why they came in my house. So I had to check on my dog. Because the dog was peeing on the porch. And, and they had to check if he's registered. Uh, stupid me. I thought you could tell me that stuff on the porch. Lo and behold, they originally said they got to check the dog because there was some kind of problem. Uh, the whole focus was to look at the dog. But when they got in my house, the only thing they had to tell me was that my dog peed on the porch and they're going to write me a written citation, which doesn't even... It's just a warning. They sent... They circled the warning on a piece of paper and handed it to me. So at this point, the daughter starts... My daughter starts taking over the answering. But notice how she moves in for the kill, huh? Check this out. All right, well, basically what I'm going to do is write a written warning for that, and then i got to make sure the dog has current shots and a license. Okay. Yeah, he has a license. Does he? Yeah. yeah. Look. He has a license. He has a license. I don't know why you're in here. See, there you go. My daughter said it better than I could say it. She said he has a license. I don't know why you're here. Okay. What's significant about that genius little statement by my most wonderful daughter is, the reason why the dog catcher came to my house was because he was investigating my dog, right? Investigating my peeing dog. Well, the dog catchers are where we registered the dog. In fact, that's where the dog got the chip. That's where the dog got the, the shots. That's where he got licensed. I know that for a fact because that's where you have to license him. It's interesting that an investigator came to my house and was asking questions about my dog when he's registered at the dog catchers. Okay, I just need the numbers off of there. You want to take the collar off? Okay. So, these fracking, fracking, you heard it. It's from Battlestar Galactica. That's what I'm going to use instead of the F word. I'm going to say frack. These fracking cops, they want to see my dog. Lo and behold, they don't know my dog. You see... My Springer Spaniel, they call them Springer Spaniels for a reason. They like to jump. And they like to jump all over people they don't know. So this officer, dog catcher, cop, wants me to let my dog out. All right, you want me to let my dog out? Springer Spaniel, you you want it? You got it. So you want me to let him out? Here you go. And the reason we're here is because he wanted to let this do his job. Oh, that's why you That's why we're So... This genius officer, number fat boy 2, Donut Muncher 2, says the reason why they're there is because I wouldn't let the dog catcher do his job. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not letting the dog catcher do his job. I'm sorry I'm not answering questions I don't have to. I'm sorry I'm not letting him in my house when I don't have to. I'm sorry I'm, not, I'm sticking up for my civil rights. Oh, I, I apologize for, for, for doing what I'm supposed to do. Okay? For doing what I can do. For doing what I think I need to do to protect my family from freaking... Where do you think I got this guitar that you're hearing today? Cops are useless. They're there for after the fact. And in this case, they're not even there for after the fact. I called the police station five times and asked for a supervisor, and said that cops broke into my home. It took me five times to get a name of someone who's looking into this case, okay? Five times, okay? To say that police officers forced their way into my home, questioned me when they had no right to, and were on my pri private property without my permission. Uh, so we call a civil standard to make sure no one... You want to put the dog back up for me? Sure. Russell, let's come on. Uh, you know why he asked me to put that dog away? Because it was jumping at his nuts. That's right. Brussels was taking it to his nuts. Man, that dog's got some sharp claws. And he was freaking ripping that guy's crotch all to shreds. Honestly, I should have told him no. I said, you know what? This is my house. I wanted my dog to be free. And that's the way it's going to be. But, at this point, I'm thinking 
you know what? This is just too juicy to stop or to piss anybody off because they're kind of answering my questions here and there. Uh, you know, trying to cover up the fact that they're doing all this illegal crap. Okay? They're, 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 they're trying to smooth things over. They figured out finally that I'm not abusing my dog and that they had no right to come in my house in the first place. And you'll hear this as we go on. Okay, does the dog have an actual license for the city? Yeah, that should be it right there. No, it's not it. It's just a rabies vaccination. Oh, uh, she's tagged and he has, uh, he's been chipped. Microchip is different than uh, a license. Yeah, sure. A license? I, I don't understand. There's one, two, and three-year licenses for the city that you have to get your dog license in the municipality of Anchorage. Okay, and you're saying that he's not licensed? Right. Is it true? You don't have a license on here right now. Well, he, I, oh, well, maybe he lost it. Okay. But I'm pretty sure he's licensed. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to issue a citation for that, okay? That's fine. All right. And so, I'm like, that's fine. Write me a citation for the dog not having a license when the dog has a license. I don't care. What do I care? Write it up. Put it on a piece of paper. Write it down. Write it on my car. Write it anywhere. Get the hell out of my house. You don't have to break into my house to write me a freaking uh, a note saying that my dog doesn't have a license while he's in my home. I think you guys have something more important to do. Trying to stop dogs from being on porches. Yeah, he's here to stop the dog being on porch. We're here to make sure no one gets hurt. That's important. That's, trust me, there's a lot of other stuff to do today. Yeah, I would think so. Take care of that dog. It looks like a nice one. So now the cop mentions that my dog's nice. And I'm assuming that he means that he's healthy and in good shape. Okay, alright. I think I told you that when we were at the door. When I said, yeah, the dog's okay. I think I mentioned that previously. But I guess that doesn't matter. I guess when people tell people things, it doesn't matter. They gotta find out on their own, huh? So you can arrest me because I wouldn't talk to him? You were I was going to detain you for my safety. Oh, is that what you're gonna do? That's right. Do you see the irony in this statement? There are four cops in my home to keep him safe. To keep him safe. Okay? They're not even there to keep me safe. They're not there to keep my daughter safe. They're not there to keep my dog safe. No, they're there to keep the dog catcher safe. You're going to put my child's life at risk by taking me, arresting me? How was I putting your child's life at risk? You just said he wasn't going to arrest you. Oh, he was going to detain you. And if I had arrested you, she would have been placed with OCS. Oh, okay, well. I don't know. I'm feeling like my civil rights have been stomped all are, over. Are you an attorney? <laughs> uh, no, I told you. What's, which civil rights? I'm well, just curious. Oh, I'm, I, well, first of all... I've gone over them so many times, it's like, I don't even want to repeat myself. It's like the Fifth Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, right to privacy, whatever amendment that's in. You know, freedom of speech, right to not incriminate yourself. Uh, it's just, there's so many. Uh, 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 illegal search and seizure. Uh... Let me see here. What other ones did they break in like 20 minutes? Well, assault. They threatened me with a weapon. Okay, so there's assault. Is there anything else? Oh, breaking and entering, of course. Of course, they didn't break anything. So it'd be just entering, technically. Trespassing. I think that's about it, though. Here's the thing. If you let that guy do his job, you wouldn't be here. Oh, well, okay. You understand? You got somebody knocking your door trying to do the job? Let them do the job. Okay. Okay, if you... If you didn't do anything wrong, what's the big deal? And that's why we're here, because you were saying things to him, like, making threats to him. I didn't make any threats. I, all I told him was, I don't think he has the authority to be here, and I wasn't...